After six years of building the largest Christmas display in my neighborhood, I failed. And not just a little bit, but I didn't even come close. This was supposed to be the year that I took over the entire block, but all I could muster up was what I accomplished in 2022 and 2023. I've been upping the ante every year, the six years that I've been doing this, starting with a projector, doing projection mapping, adding synced LEDs on my roof, and then my magnolias. I added moving heads, and my major expansion was adding candy canes in front of 16 houses. That would be four candy canes in front of all 16 houses, which was half of my block synced to my show. But this year, some health issues hit me pretty hard and everything stopped. Stick around. I'm gonna get into that. I'm gonna get it why I couldn't push through where I am currently and what I'm gonna do next. I started relatively small in 2018 and I taught myself how to do projection mapping, spent dozens of hours figuring that out. And then over the years, I just wanted to add one or two little things to the show to complement it all the way up until last year, like I said, which is when I went crazy and did custom LED candy canes in front of 16 houses. That was 16 microcontrollers. I had a Wi-Fi network that could span half the block to sync everything. And for the first two weeks of December, everything worked flawlessly. It was synced perfectly with my show. And then in week three, things started to go wrong. And every night I was out there in front of someone's house. No officer, I wasn't snooping around the outside of their house around their windows. I was plugging in candy canes at 2 a.m and I was either reflashing software or restarting something. I mean, it, it became a major headache and it was just not reliable at all. Now I planned to start the remaining 16 houses for a total of 32 in August of this year. And unfortunately, things boiled over in August. We had our third child, thank the Lord, in May, and she's been a dream. And so that actually wasn't the culprit, but I thought having a third child Okay, maybe I'm not gonna have time. It almost was like not adding a third child at all. So that wasn't it at all. But in August, things boiled over and I got insomnia. And one to two bad nights turned into every single night for about eight weeks of getting between three and four hours of sleep, which is very unusual for me. Countless vials of blood work later, three sleep studies, tons of different doctors. And the good news is, is that we actually think that my thyroid medication, the dosage was just too high, which was driving a majority of this. And also I mixed in some uh, CBTI, which is cognitive behavioral therapy for insomnia. And that worked incredibly well where I didn't have any trouble falling asleep. Mine was staying asleep. And if you wake up in the middle of the night and you can't fall asleep within 15, 20 minutes, you get up, you go to another room, you do something boring in very dim light or in the dark until you get tired and then you go back to bed to train yourself that your bed is for sleep. And that actually worked incredibly well. And I'm eight weeks off the thyroid medication now and I'm having three to four decent nights a week, which is a drastic improvement versus where I was. So hopefully that continues. But these four months have absolutely destroyed my productivity and my drive to do products. I was just scraping by to do my day job and then be a dad and had no drive to do projects outside of that whatsoever. So this year, kind of begrudgingly and half-heartedly, I put the show up, did not do anything extra. I The alignment is really bad this year and I cannot figure out why, but it's just not aligned right, the projector that is on my house. And I basically called that good. No expansion, no candy canes, even for the 16 houses last year, I didn't put them. There was such a headache towards the end of December last year that I didn't even wanna attempt them again because I don't wanna be coming out here every night fixing something. And this is really probably the first time in my life I've ever had to slow down. In the grand scheme of things, I'm thankful that this is not more serious. This is not like life-threatening or anything like that. I just have insomnia and I'm trying to work to solve it. And my life hasn't unraveled, thank the Lord, that I've still been able to manage my day job and my family, albeit grumpy on some days, but this is not serious. This is just a minor blip on the radar that hopefully will be behind me very soon. If you do a Christmas show, have you ever lost the inspiration to do it? I mean, I did not want to do it at all this year, which is like the first year that I didn't, I didn't want to. And I still have aspirations for the show. I want to rewrite most of it um, and just get, get fresh writing, maybe even new characters, new props. I want to expand the moving heads. I really do want to get these candy canes all the way down the street. I think it would be incredible. Probably need to find a different, more stable controller for that. But to start 2026, ending 2025 and starting 2026, 
my focus is on sleep. If you just watched my solar episode, then you know I have that massive project going on and I wanna DIY it and I might just have to turn it more turnkey and hire people to install it for me. That's just where I am right now. And here's some unsolicited advice. If your sleep is off just a little bit or or maybe you don't even think you have sleep issues, definitely get a sleep study. They've got pretty cheap ones that you can order online and do at home. And me and my wife did one and it said I was fine. And what's crazy is that she was actually diagnosed with moderate sleep apnea and she doesn't fit like any of the risk factors. She doesn't fit any of those things at all. We were stunned. And so we're addressing that for her, trying to improve her life because Apart from my faith, sleep is like the most important thing. It's like the foundation for your entire life, getting good sleep, and then you can kind of launch from there, or at least that is what I've learned over the last few months. So thank you for sticking around. Thank you for watching. I know this is such a lame update. I did get some of it up. I did not expand. I did less than last year. It definitely, uh, for my personality, feels like a massive failure. I know in the grand scheme of things, this is a super minor. This is a very minor health issue and we will get through this in no time. I'm incredibly grateful for the life that I have. We are just so unbelievably blessed even through all of this, especially with the new life that we have this year. As always, thank you so much for watching this very lame update. Uh, I hope you stick around, especially for the DIY solar series, if it stays DIY, and to see what we get into next year. I've got a ton of things that I want to do once I conquer this sleep thing that we'll be doing them. If you want more real-time updates, go over to Instagram because I post there pretty regularly as far as like little things that I'm doing here or there, and I'll try to be consistent about YouTube. As always, thank you so much for watching. I know that there are zillions of options these days on YouTube that you can watch. You decided to watch this video, especially all the way to the end, and I'm very appreciative. As always, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. It helps the algorithm tremendously, and we will see you next time.